No, my Arnold, welcome back. Summer in for a cold night tonight as the ridge of high pressure continues to dominate over the South Island. A trough weakens over the North Island with a few showers and snow flurries left as it runs out of steam. And then from late tomorrow, we've got a new weak front sliding across the southeast of the South Island. Keep the Waipo Namu, the South Island. It will be a lovely, fine and settled night. Ka Pakiwaru. There could be the odd shower about the south coast with fresh westerlies, but looking mainly fine. There'll be a early frost for many, here hoka papa and strong westerly winds home out to Tara around the coast. Ke te Ika Amaui, the North Island, Tuawa, showers over the central plateau and out east. He Hokapapa, snow down to 700 metres once again tonight. And that'll continue all morning and into the afternoon with snow flurries over the desert road. So, up top it's fine. Karangapaki with a morning frost. He Hokapapa for the Waikato. Clouds over in the afternoon with w the risk of one or two showers and southwesters. Very similar here with Hokapapa, frost inland and beautiful clear skies for the morning. Tuawa, Showers do arrive in the afternoon for the unlucky with southwesters. Te Matoa Maui, Hawke's Bay and Tūranga Nui Akiwa, Gisborne will have a few showers pre-sunrise. It is frosty further south, then showers to Awa develop. Ka Makariri, it'll be cold here tonight. Conditions are right for frost, Hokapapa in the morning too, with winds developing into the afternoon. Now over Te Moana, Orokawa, Cook Strait and most will be fine in the morning, Ka Rangapaki. Then clouds over a little in the afternoon, Ka Ka Pua Pua, but not for you in Nelson, it'll stay fine. Fine and frosty over the divide, he rangapaki, he hukapapa. The sun stays out for the whole day though with just a light wind, hoko hengi. Fine and frosty for most here, but there will be tuawa, showers for the deep south, and that develops into ua, rain tomorrow night. Strong westerlies too with gusts of 80 kilometres per hour. So Ōtipoti Dunedin will start Rangapaki, fine with morning frost, Tokupapa inland. Kapoa, clouds arrive in the afternoon and then Ua, rain arrives in the evening. There'll be strong westerlies at times too. It's cold tonight, Makerere for Ōtautahi Christchurch with frost in the morning, then a beautiful day ahead. It's fine, Kapaki Tirangi with just a light breeze. Fine also for Te Whanganui Atara Wellington with areas of morning frost, Te Hukapapa. In the afternoon there'll be a northerly breeze, Hauraki with a high of 12 for the city centre. Ka ka pua pua, cloudy for Te Mātoa Maui Hawks Bay tomorrow. Showers are expected around the ranges in the morning but they will spread everywhere in the afternoon with light winds. Rangapaki, fine for Tauranga tomorrow too, but in the ahi ahi afternoon showers develop with a southwesterly Hotonga Mauru in the evening. Lovely day ahead for Kiri Kiri Roa Hamilton with a morning frost here, Hukapapa. Wind wise, you can expect a light breeze with a developing afternoon southwesterly Hotonga Mauru. And looking good north for Tamaki Makoto, Auckland, there'll be the odd shower, Tuawa, in the west in the morning, then spreading elsewhere in the afternoon with an afternoon southwesterly wind. Now, showers do spread around the southern coastline of Australia from Perth around to Brisbane. And Kite Moana Nui Akiwa to the Pacific Islands, it's fine for most, a high of 31 for Fiji, just a few showers for Samoa. So back home, the weekend is fast approaching and once again the showers, Tuawa, cleared the north on Friday, Parade. The weekend's shaping up to be mainly fine. There are showers for Gisborne on Friday too, then it's a great weekend with mainly fine weather, Rangapaki. Plenty of sunshine for the rest of Te Ika Amawi, the North Island. Temperatures nudging up to 18 on Sunday for Whanganui. Clouds for the top half of the South Island on Parade with the odd shower, Tuawa, on Saturday for the West Coast. And dry weather everywhere else with daytime high sitting in the low to mid teens. So it's shaping up to be a good weekend. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Heather. That's News Up Live at 6 for today. Yanaka Torellan will have more on News Hub Live at 8 pm on Eden and Ingrid Hipkiss. And the News Hub Late team are here on 3 at 10.50. I'm Mike McRoberts. And I'm Laura Tupo. And on the project, Paddy Gower tries to escape the royal crowds. <laughs> yeah, I know. It doesn't sound like him, does it, Laura? <laughs> no. He loves to get in the thick of it. And in fact, that was his actual plan, but he's back outside Buckingham Palace.